What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? You know who this is. I'm in the building. You heard the intro. I would say it twice, but I'm not that nice. So, uh, let's go in. Today, I want to talk about something that, uh, and I'm doing this on my, uh, the Sony, like an audio recorder. It's the... It's the black one. If anybody knows, I don't forget. For, don't know what the model is. I haven't looked at it. I'm not looking at it right now. But if you notice the difference in some of my podcasts, as you know, they may be clear. That's because if they're clear, I'm going directly in from the audio. Then I'm just uploading the audio to my software and then edit it there. As opposed to whenever it's not as clear, as far as not as you know louder, but it's maybe a little softer. That's because I'm doing it direct directly in the software. Like I'm putting my Thoughts, whatever, right in the soft in the in the voice thing on my uh, editing software, and I and I edit these in Sony Platinum, Sony Vegas Platinum Studio, Sony Vegas Platinum, the 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 top studio. I mean, the top platinum one. I edit my other videos in Pro or Premiere or, uh, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for what I'm about to talk about. What I'm talking about today is. Uh, being responsible, and uh, the odd, the awkward way people look at you when you actually hold to those principles. Okay, now this comment is coming off of. Uh, there was a question on uh on, on in one of my Facebook groups, and now uh, you can add me to your groups. So I don't care, but if you want me to comment, don't be don't get mad when I comment because. I'm not saying stuff so I can get some pussy. Like a lot, if you notice a lot, if you go to Facebook, a lot of these guys, a lot of these guys are pure simp's. They'll say stuff. I'm not saying all of them. There's a few. There's a couple real dudes out there, but a lot, most of these guys are saying stuff on Facebook just to get some pussy. I don't have to do that. Luckily, you know, like, and here's one I'm gonna go into. There was a question. A young woman had uh, on her question was. If a guy, if a woman has multiple kids by multiple people, like I said, if a woman has multiple kids by multiple people, would you be adverse to dating her? And then there were some comments, you know, yada yada, the usual. And I said, you know, I wouldn't date a woman. I date a woman that would has that has kids. I don't have a problem with that. Two is a stretch. Anything more than two, I'm not dealing with it. This like and like kind of made a little bit of noise. And I, I'll explain. I'll explain what I said. I said I will. I did. I tell this to young people all the time. If you're a young man or woman, I have no problem telling you this either. You should look, be wary, or some of somebody has three or more. Two's a stretch. It depends on the situation. Like you could like like you could leave your old lady maybe for a distance and get married and have kids. That's cool. But if you're talking two, if, I mean three, four or more, that's a cause for concern. And that's that's a responsibility and accountability factor right there because there's a reason why they're not with these people and they're on their own and they're coming to you. And like people are getting mad because like you know how it is in the black community. You can't you can't be straight up honest with a lot of people in the black community because like they're thinking you're talking about them. And this one guy got mad because he tried to put words in my mouth saying I was saying people were bad people because they have multiple kids by multiple people. I said no, I'm not saying that. You could be a Boy Scout and a Girl Scout for all I care. I'm saying there's a reason why you have multiple people having kids with them. And that you should be leery for it. Like I even said, I even use my, here, here's how far I went. I use my, and you people know how I would use other people as an example with no problem because they're doing it. I use myself as an example. I said women should watch out if they're dating me and I have three or more kids, mo like like baby mothers, as, as the common vernacular is. And here's why. Let me give you a, a scenario. If I have five kids, uh, babies, mothers, which I don't, by the way, what are the chances I meet, you know, a, a chick number six, and she has a kid to me? What are the chances? It's just the chances. Plus, you don't want to go through all that drama with, 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 with the dudes or the women. Let me, t give you, let me give you a background check. All my kids are to one woman. Well, so far, that's what the tests say. <laughs> Zing! But, uh... 
I was, when I got married, my ex had her kids by the same dude. It was no problem. But I knew there was tension between my ex-wife and my child, my kid's mom. I knew that. I saw. I saw it. So I that was just one one. This was this was like one, and now you know. Imagine multiplying that by five, and then you want to go through that. I don't want to. At this stage and point in my life, I don't want to go through that. And it's not. And if you're dating a person that has five or more kids to five or more people. Where's the responsibility? Because you got to think about the kid's stability. See, this is not what people are thinking. There's the kid's stability, their mental state, seeing all these dads or mothers coming in and out of the house. And, this, and, I, and that's like, I'm preaching this responsibility. I'm not downing nobody. I'm just saying you got to think smart and be more responsible. And like, and like what, the, what I didn't like about it is the guy said, so you think that myself and so-and-so, first of all, you're drawing somebody else in so they can try to bang up with me. And that's... You we don't do that around here. We're grown men, and like I told this person, I'm not. You're putting words in my mouth. I'm like, you could be the nicest guy in the world. You could be the nicest woman in the world. I'm saying there's a reason why you got five kids to five different men or women. That's all I'm saying. I'm not knocking you. I care less what you do. That's your business. I'm just saying you have to be wary, and you and let's face it. That's if I had five baby's mothers, and I meet some chick, it's my responsibility to tell her and try to see where that relationship is going before if I make child number six. And let's face it, the responsibility is more on me, but she's responsible just almost, she's almost responsible but not enough. She's just responsible if she should be asking questions like, why does this dude have five kids to five different women? And she should be asking me, and if she don't like my answers, go ask the kids' mothers. You kidding me? No, sorry, somebody just cut me off. But it's the lack of the responsibility where I'm coming from. You should, and like, I'm not calling nobody a bad person. I'm not saying this or that. I'm saying you have to ask these questions. You know, I, I, people, then the lady asked me, she goes, well, what if there's a, a lady that has multiple child's fathers? And like I told her, I can deal with one that baby's dad, I can stretch it out and maybe. And it depends on the situation. I can maybe deal with two. But when you get to three, four, five, and six, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not dealing, and you know, and I know how dudes are. And, I know, and, you know, and I'm not dealing with all the banging. And then me and old, one of these dudes, one of them's going to run their mouth. And then, like, it just leads to problems. Like, people don't want to recognize that. And that's what I'm recognizing. It could lead to problems. I saw how it was with my ex and my kid's mother. There was tension in the air. And my best, my thing was, I was like, man, y'all don't talk to each other. Everything's all gravy. But imagine multiplying that by four or five. I don't have time to deal with that. Uh, my life right now is as simple as it can get. Uh, why make it complicated? And like I said, you're making a rough on the kids, number one. It ain't about you and I. It's about, the, you know, you're making a rough on the stability of the kids. The kids see this rotating in and out of the house. I mean, what do they think? It's okay to do it. And, they, and then that leads, it just, it's just, you see certain people here on YouTube. You see what it's like. They're crazy and stuff. So I'm just saying, I saw that topic and I want to talk about it because that's what I'm, I want to clear that up because it's, it's what it is really. You know, if you got five or more, if you got three or more kids to three or more dudes or women, People should ask questions about you and don't get mad when they do. So I hope that you understand what I'm saying. It's all about accountability and responsibility. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you probably won't get my messages anyway. So any questions, just ask. All right, peace.